hello and welcome back to Sarah Reacts. Today we're going to be watching season 3, episode 6 of Twin Peaks and this one's called part 6 slash don't die. <laughs> I'm hoping editing Sarah has figured out the audio. I mean the editing software I use updated twice <laughs> in the week that I was off. So last episode. <laughs> so Cooper kind of got thrust into his corporate job <laughs> where people were kind of having to push him round again but I did I said it last episode but it's it's funny how people do guide him some like little some bits but it is funny how he seems to have you know <laughs> got home gone to work <laughs> like as Dougie like by accident seemingly I don't know if that's the right word but some people in a, a car that came up on the kid checking out something underneath the car which at first I thought was a GPS but then it turns out to be have been a bomb I mean, luckily for the kid, those douches were like, get away from the car, because then unfortunately they got blown up. We were introduced to Shelley's daughter. I don't know if her and Bobby are still together. I haven't seen any scenes of them together, so I'm sure it'll all, you know, all the puzzle pieces will come into place sooner or later. And uh, we also found out that the bottom half of the dead body was Major Briggs, but they were saying it was impossible because he died way too long ago for that. Enough chattering. Let's get into it, shall we? And uh, as usual, for my YouTube viewers, the link to the reaction reel is in the description and in the comment below. So that was season three, episode six of Twin Peaks. Oh, that guy made me really angry at the end. I was just saying nonsense. <laughs> What a prick. Oh, I mean, he's written him so easily dislikable, so it's annoying that the other guy didn't stick up to him. But, you know, <laughs> but yeah, I have to say, Dougie's wife is like, so <laughs> in charge when it comes to money, but not in dealing with her husband's health. But to be honest, I mean, I can see her point and her side in this 100%, but because we know that this isn't Dougie, and then it's Cooper, and then he's not in his right mind. <laughs> it's making me really conflicted <laughs> because you like you think, oh, don't yell at don't yell at Dougie. He's done nothing wrong. It's Cooper. It's not really him. But then at the same time, you're like, Dougie, you're a piece of shit husband, cheating on your wife, getting your family in debt because you can't fucking stop gambling. Then um, if Dougie and that woman were to get murdered, she paid them. So is they're not connected so the people that killed that woman and want to kill Dougie are they not part of the loan sharks for the gambling this is like the third time I've said it well I hate kids crossing the road this is why last episode I was like that like I didn't want to watch it because I was thinking that kid's gonna get run over and then this kid got run over oh and it made me cry because seeing other people cry and in distress makes me cry and then I start thinking how is she gonna live with that she told her kid to go and he went and he got run over and she saw him get murdered in front of him and how is she going to live with the guilt of all that? And, oh, she's lost a child, blah, blah, blah. like <laughs> a spiral and that's what makes me cry. <laughs> and I'm like, it's not real Sarah, it's a TV program. <laughs> that child actor did not die. <laughs> I want to know what's in that letter that Hawk found and who wrote it. And I also want to know what the ladder and the step and the drawn arrows and this, like what does it mean? What We know it's the other guy that was looking suspicious and worried he's you know clearly committing these fraudulent claims like allowing them but yeah so full length and early access available on patreon.com forward slash and i'll see you next time 